G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. You're looking at one of my Hocking's Eyes nest and you'll see a bee crawling up here and doing something rather unusual. If I can zoom in on this bee There he is. Uh, hopefully it'll focus up. And you just see it there. It is depositing, that's better, material in round the nest. Now, Hocking's eyes is, is, are a rather unusual species. They are quite distinguishable from other species by a simple fact that they have very dirty looking entrances. Terrible dirty black entrances that other bees just don't have. Equal to that is they're notorious for staining up around the nest as you can see here or you can see here. And that's all about scent marking the area. And I've done videos on that before. But there's an interesting question about this dirty look. Is it just foot traffic as some people suspect? Or do they actually deliberately do it? And the answer is they deliberately put material out to dirty up the entrance, dirty up material. Um, scent areas or as you can see here as I race back up to where this bee is hopefully you'll focus they're putting areas down and why they do this is I'm unsure I believe it's some form of identification to other bees that this is a Hocking's Eye hive and do not whatever you do come near this hive Hocking's eyes are one of the few bees that do this. But how do I know they're deliberately doing it? Well, if I get at the ang if I get the angle of the dangle right, you can see on that scent mark on that edge there, there's actual material. It's not foot traffic. They've actually placed material there. You can see it. Clear as a bell. If I go up to this one on the crack here, I think as I said, getting these bloody cameras to focus. Bloody shitty. But you can see there's material there as well. You can see it. It's actual physical dots. And bees actually bring it out and do it. What about the entrance? Again, if you look carefully, they're actually depositing stuff there and then treading it into the entrance. You can see it all around the entrance there. I'll just get in front of the entrance just to block the bees off. They'll upset them to no end. You can see it's physically deposited down. So it's not foot traffic. This is quite deliberate by the bees. And that's one of the ways you can tell a Hocking's Eyes nest. Now that i blocked the entrance, watch them all come charging in. One, two, three. Yep. Now, what is it made out of? I believe it's a combination of resins and not resin, sorry, try that again. It's a combination of secretions from their body plus old wax that they mix together and put this out. This secretion, I believe, comes from the head area. And you see that, of course, if you disturb a Hocking's Eye bee on your arm, he gets stuck to you as he spits it out. That spitting defence, look up the video if you want to learn more about it. But I believe it's a combination of that spit material and old wax and every now and then the bees suddenly get this go on to really get rid of the old wax and everything else and and on this hive here you see it classic hasn't been treaded in yet you can see a bee there now just putting more down and they'll do this until they're happy with the layer that they put down so the dirty look quite deliberate it is not foot traffic 